Amy has tried her best to forgive Curtis, but he's about to do something that makes it impossible. I can't promise you that, let's run after again. My name's Dr. Ali Jennings, I'm a psychologist and neuroscientist, I'm well into the science of love. So, let's talk about Love Island. Amy wanted to give her relationship with Curtis another chance. Last night, the way that I was gonna end the conversation, was I was gonna give you a second chance. Being in a committed relationship makes people more likely to forgive. And also, trying to understand the other person's point of view makes forgiveness more likely as well. You're really trying to work out why they did what they did. So I would like to just have some constructive feedback from you of things that I could do differently. See, there's a battle going on between the parts of your brain that want to take sweet, sweet revenge and the parts that want to exert some self-control. But forgiveness isn't a given. And one thing that can definitely tip the scales towards revenge is gossip. Like the kissing challenges and stuff, you're like, Curtis was the best kisser. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, it makes it adds and up. And you though. said, oh I thought he was really bad. I was like, I think he was really good. <laughs> and if Curtis were to rub it in Amy's face. So Curtis, can you teach me how to dance then? She would be humiliated. He's such a fucking prick. Humiliation is brutal. It triggers brain activity that's more intense than anger, shame, or even happiness. And on top of that, it decreases a signal for self-restraint in your brain, which is probably why... Such a fucking prick. It's humiliation that's hard to come back from. You're a compulsive liar. If you love Love Island and you like this video, then let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.